I am Dr. Shoibal Moitro. I am a consultant pulmonologist and working in the field of allergy and pulmonology for the past 20 years. Presently, I am the medical director of Allergy and Asthma Treatment Center, now known as NCD Immunomedical Private Limited, and the consultant pulmonologist and head of the Department of Pulmonology at Chanak Hospital, Kolkata. Today, we would like to talk about the allergic diseases. It has been a very common practice. I find that the patients come to me and say, the doctor, I have allergy. And then I ask them, okay, you have allergy, but what symptoms do you have? And then the patient tells his or her symptoms. And many a times I find that this is not an allergy at all. So we should understand very well, what do we mean by allergy? Actually, allergy is a condition in which the body reacts to the innocuous materials to which it should not be reacting. Okay. Like say, uh, there is a very common thing that is very house, is house dust mite. Okay. Usually the house dust mite impinges upon the skin and it doesn't cause anything in a normal individual. But in an allergic person, that same house dust mite, when they impinges upon the skin, the skin will react and there will be a rash, there will be itching, there will be swelling and all the symptoms the patients will get, which we call, which we commonly call acute urticaria. Similarly, we all inhale so many pollens. So normal individual won't get anything. But if a person who is hyperreactive or having an allergic tendency, actually they will react to that pollen and the person might have a runny nose, a redness of the eyes, too much of sneezing and we call this condition allergic rhinitis. So when we per se say allergy, we actually mean a condition or a clinical state in which the person is reacting more to the substances to which he or she should not be reacting. Thus it is an immune state or the immunological state and which is manifested in a clinical symptoms. So it, it can per se uh, affect any organs, when it affects the skin, it can have atopic dermatitis, it can have the articaria like conditions, there are so many allergic conditions affects the skin, maybe there is multitude of conditions. It can affect the nasobronchial uh, system, like it can affect the nose and the person might have an allergic rhinitis, allergic rhinosinusitis. Is, and there are many other types of allergies affecting the nose. One may that allergies may affect the lungs and a person might have an allergic asthma. It may affect the eyes, the person might have an allergic conjunctivitis. It might, it might affect, affect the GI tract. When one is taking one some food to which the person may be allergic to, person might have a symptoms of severe abdominal cramps uh, with diarrhea, with vomiting, person may have a bloody di diarrhea. We call it food allergies and the person might, might have this enterocolitis, allergic enterocolitis, person might have this allergic gastroenteritis. So these are the various entities in which we find in allergies. And sometimes and this can be a very fatal and serious conditions also. Some might get stung by an insect or eat some food and there might be short of breath, the person might fall, feel very sick. The BP might drop, the person might collapse and we call it a severe anaphylactic reactions. Xenaphylaxis is also a very serious severe allergic conditions in, my, in which the patient if not treated very early patient might even die also. Then there might be conditions in which there is swelling in the eyes, swelling on the lips, swelling on the soft tissues. We call it angioneurotic edema or angioedema, which can have an allergic basis also. Though it can have a non-allergic basis, but it can have an allergic basis too. So means when we talk about allergies, when we say allergies, it is not something which is very trivial and which will just go like that. If we mean allergy, that means this has to be something very serious and which can affect many of the organs. Very interesting to note that there is an allergic march which we call uh, as because the allergic diseases it keeps on progressing throughout the life. So a, a person might start with atopic dermatitis which is a condition of the skin very early in, in his life maybe in a childhood at the age of two or three years which might progress to some kind of food allergies then it can progress to an allergic rhinitis and allergic asthma. So we see that this allergic conditions is it's systemic involves the whole body it is a progressive that is it pro progresses and it can have very serious consequences also. So whenever when somebody is having some kind of allergies which could be manifested in some form or the other maybe in all the diseases in which I had named just before. So the person should not take it very lightly but should have a very 
a immediate consultation with an allergist so that he or she can evaluate the patient, know what is the condition, what are triggering factors, then give the adequate treatment to the patient so that the patient can actually come out with uh, can come come out of, of this serious of, of this of these things and can lead a quite a healthy life. I hope uh, you all found um, the topics in which I have just dealt with helpful and will improve your knowledge base. If you want to know more, you can uh, go go to the particular sites, it's, or you can reach me to the Care Clue platform. Thank you.